Hi friends, this is Mehmet Sheikh and from past one, one video I am working on developing a CRUD application using Zen Framework 3 and uh, in my last video I completed the discussion on how to download and install Zen Framework on our local machine and in this video I will discuss how to create our custom module okay so this is our uh, uh, application uh, okay uh, the zf3 crud which we have downloaded uh, and installed in our last video okay we have access to that uh, uh, project in our browser okay so this is the index page that gets loaded when we run our project okay so now uh, this index dot html file is coming from the application module okay so that's the default module uh, that gets uh, uh, that gets uh, created uh, with the uh, with uh, with the default installation of Zen framework. Okay, now we will uh, create our own module. Okay, so we'll create our own custom module. Uh, so for that, uh, let's uh, open. You can see this. Uh, this is our project, and uh, uh, this is the application module. Um, which was there which was already there and which have come with the uh, with the installation of our zen frame okay so every module uh, will have some structure okay so the module name and then these many file these many folders should be there okay every module should contains config source okay and then view folder and inside config we need to create one file called as module.config.php and inside source we need to create controllers models and forms okay so here in this module we are having only controller folder and we are having a module.php file as well okay so if we go further down to the click on this controller we will get an index.controller okay so and this is the index.controller php file is belongs to this application module okay so this is the view folder inside view folder we will have an another uh, folder with the name called as application which is the name of our module as well okay so we have to create one uh, folder with the name called as application and there will be a and if we go further down we will get a index and inside this we will have index.phtml okay so this is the uh, content or layout which you can which we can see here okay so whatever uh, design we are seeing here on this home page of our uh, Z framework 3 application uh, everything is coming from this index.phtml file okay and we are having one more folder called as layout okay this is the layout of our project see this contains the complete layout of our project okay so links to our CSS and uh, JS files okay and uh, so we need to create a different or another module with which has the same file structure okay so the best thing to create a module uh, with the same uh, with the best way to create an another module with the same file structure or file or folder structure is to copy uh, this complete folder or this module and rename it okay so let's do that let's go to our uh, st docs and then go to zen framework 3 crud which is our project okay and inside this we will find uh, okay module folder and now we'll just copy this and we'll paste it here okay and now we will rename it to some other module okay so now i want to create a module with an name called as post so that i rename uh, i copied i make a duplicate copy of my already existing uh, module application and then i just give it a name as post okay so by doing that we don't have to bother about creating the same structure uh, of file folders and files which was which was there uh, for our application folder okay so we just need to copy and paste the same folder and we have to give it a different name okay so by doing that we can we will have we'll get the same file folders and file structure okay <laughs> so here in this module so from now onwards we are using this post uh, module okay so we need to uh, make some changes uh, inside this module uh, a post module wherever we find this application we need to change it to post okay so for example here inside this view we are having a folder with a name called as application so we need to change it to post so right click on it and then rename give it a name is post okay so now the folder name gets changed to post okay so now let it be as it is and then we need to go to composer.json file 
okay so let's open this okay so here you can see uh, there is already one module is been mentioned because that's the uh, which is the application module because that application module has come as a default with our installation okay so along with this application module we need to mention the name of our another module which we have created just now okay so we have created another module with a name called as post so we need to uh mention that uh, mention the name of that module inside our composer.json file as well so here post okay now let's save it okay now we need to go to our root folder okay so our project and then we will find a folder called as config inside config folder we will find a file called as modules.config.php okay so here you can see uh, there are different packages and modules are mentioned okay so along with this application module we need to mention the name of our module which we have created just now okay so the name of the module is post okay okay so this is the module which we have created and we have to mention the name of our uh, newly or customly created module in this modules.config.php file as well okay so now okay let's minimize it okay now we need to go to our command prompt okay so let's cmd okay now let's redirect uh, let's point to our uh, project okay cd zamp Docs. okay now we need to go to go inside our uh, project directory which is zen framework 3 crud okay now we need to uh, run one command as composer dump auto load okay so now before that let's just refresh okay so now you can see it's displaying us uh, this error as fatal error uncaught exception zen module manager exception runtime exception message module could not be initialized okay so now we need to initialize our module by executing this command okay so now let's enter okay so it's uh, it will take some time okay now you can see it has written me a message generating auto load files okay and uh, now let's refresh our page okay now it's displaying me an another error which saying cannot redeclare class application module okay so on module.php11 okay so we need to go to that uh, file which is module post source okay so source inside our module we need to go to source folder and inside source we need to open this module.php so here you can see that uh, this error is coming because uh, we have changed our module now okay so uh, now we have changed our module from application to post but inside this module.php the name of our previous module has been mentioned so we need to change the uh, name of our previous module to the name of our newly model new model okay module save it okay now let's again refresh our page okay now it's displaying me a message as uh, include okay so view for it's uh, failed to open stream so no such file or directory okay php render okay so this uh, error is coming because of our view okay so let's okay we need to go to our index okay here also we need to change our uh, module name from uh, index to post now save it okay now let's refresh okay now let's go to our post inside post let's go to module uh, sorry uh, post module inside config and then this modules.config okay here as well post okay and we need to change uh, wherever we have the name mentioned as application to post let's change it to post and here as well post okay and 
here as well. Okay. See, okay. Now save it. Okay, now let's refresh our page. Okay, now you can see uh, it's not giving me any kind of error. But that means we have successfully changed our uh, uh, module from default application uh, module to our newly created post module. Okay, so now we are working with our post module. Okay, so for um, our creating a new module and uh, setting our project setting up our project according to newly created module we have to do these many changes okay so first we need to copy this uh, um, already existing uh, module and we need to make a copy we need to make a duplicate copy of this already existing module and then we need to re rename that to some other uh, name okay so in this case post and then you need to come to your composer.json then you need to mention the name of our uh, newly created module okay and then you need to go to modules.config you need to mention the name of our uh, module here in this file as well okay and then you need to go to module.php which is this file and then we need to change the namespace and the same thing you need to do in your uh, index controller dot uh, php file as well okay so you need to change the namespace from application to controller okay and at the end this is our routing file okay so here we will define all our different routes okay so you need to change the name of your newly create of your uh, already existing module to newly uh, created module okay so here you can see I have, I have changed the name from application to post okay and also you need to change the name of your post for a view folder okay inside view you will find a folder called as application okay so you need to change that application folder to newly created module name okay so in this case post okay so this is uh, how we can create our own module we can create our custom module okay so now this index php is running on uh, on uh, our uh, post module okay so now let's uh, go to our uh, view index.phtml and let's delete all these rows okay now you can see i'm changing the html uh, of index.phtml file which is present inside post module okay i'm not making any changes to the index.phtml which is present in our previous module okay so now you can see okay let's just uh, let's keep it as it is let's remove this okay now let's refresh okay now you can see now you understood uh, properly because uh, this index.phtml file is belongs to our newly created module which is post okay so previously this uh, this index.phtml file was loaded because pre previously at the very beginning our module was set to application now we have made our own module with the name called as post and we have changed the references of wherever we had the name mention of our previous module we have changed that those names to newly created module and now we are loading our uh, loading the index.phtml file of our newly created or custom uh, made uh, module which is post okay so now okay so let's delete this as well Okay, I want only a message in my uh, home page. Okay, welcome to Zen Framework and let's make it as 3. Okay, now uh, this is how we can uh, create our own module. Okay, this is how we can create custom modules inside uh, our Zen Framework 3. So I hope you like this video. I hope you got some useful information out of this video. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel, click on like button, share it with your friends and I will see you guys in my next video where I will show you how to remove this public uh, um, public keyword from our URL okay so that we can access our index page without using this public okay so uh, in order to uh, access this index.html file of our post module we cannot access it just by mentioning or entering the name of our project okay so once we enter the name of our project again we need to put public or otherwise we need to click on this public folder okay so we need to remove 
this functionality okay we need to remove this public uh, from being displaying inside the url okay so that we will discuss in our next video and thanks for watching guys